So what I'm thinking about next is the uh, the dim bulb. Get this out of the way. What I'm thinking about is a porcelain fixture mounted right there with a little bulb in the solder, and that is right over the top of the uh, of the uh, variac. That will keep it uh, out of the way as far as um, you know me smacking it or something because this is here. Oh, I shouldn't say this is here and this is here and that way if it's right here I don't think I'll be so inclined to break a bulb out or something like that so um, that's the plan I think I found the stuff I needed on on uh, at Home Depot I'll probably go ahead and easily what I do is buy those online and then uh, they send me a little email that says it's ready to pick up I just go to the service desk because I'll pick it all up it's a lot easier than walking around all the store and and doing that uh, finding everything so I'll probably do that and I have everything I need for that I believe um, I'm buying another shallow electrical box like the blue box behind there oh, you can see the blue box there uh, that'll mount up on the uh, pegboard um, and the uh, porcelain fixture will mount on that I think I'm gonna buy a Y adapter also to have two bulbs in there if I need two bulbs um, a little bit more um, uh, wattage or <laughs> amperage, I should say, coming through. Um, so, also, I plan um, once these uh, come in and everything is here is to give you a little demonstration on the dim bulb um, theory, uh, practice, whatever you want to call it, how it actually protects radio circuits and things like that uh, when you're working on them. Uh, there, if you can't wait for me to do it, uh, there's probably a bunch of them on online on YouTube. Just uh, search for dim bulb, and that's all you got to do, and it'll bring up some some uh, interesting videos on how to on what it how it works and things like that. Basically, it's a, a current limiter. Uh, that's what a light bulb is. So anyway, I don't want to get into that now. So uh, I just wanted to finish this up and let you know what I'm doing. Um, I did glue that last night. Uh, I just can't really see it now, but uh, I will go ahead and, and uh, ream that hole out a little bit on top and on the top, or on the bottom and the top, and uh, that should do it. Also, I'm going to ream this one out here because that barely did go in there, and uh, I think it needs a little bit more. Uh, the rest of them seem to be fine, so we'll leave them as is, and then. Uh, like I said, that's a, that should be ready to go when uh, I get my meters in and stuff. Um, should be uh, posting. This probably won't get posted until after I post the next uh, video, which will be about the auction, uh, if things go well. So, like I said, this is just a kind of a nervous time for me, filling time up doing something. Um, so... It's probably not a lot, doesn't amount to a lot, but anyway, this is, I thought this was a pretty good idea on using this cord because I think it worked out rather nice. He goes underneath the, uh, comes up here, and everything should be fine and dandy with that. Um, again, I, I was going to try to find a three-prong plug and use that. See, the only thing that grounds to is this casing is uh, and the uh, power cord coming in grounds to the casing too and I was just going to run up the third wire and ground it to the outlet uh, box cover the, the metal cover there that's how I was going to ground that that was just going to be one big ground then so like I said it's not a big deal though uh, I think it'll be fine like it is so. anyway I'm get off here again oh hey YouTube back with you again it's time to uh, Show you some progress I'm making on this. I did, I did get the uh, equipment or the equipment, the parts I needed from Home Depot. This box for the uh, uh, dim bulb. Here's the Y adapter for the dim bulb, and uh, that will be. I'll work on that uh, later. But this is what I was doing here. Is just been doing the finishing touches on this uh, outlet. See how nice that fits in there. 
Anyway, I have screw holes, three screw holes cut. I put some uh, screws in there. Now this is going to have to be cut for the uh, this bridge here. Will have to be cut out on both sides because one of these uh, outlets will be the full variac out output, and the other one is the dim bulb. So I usually I've done this a lot of times before. Just cut this little bridge here, and that gives you two separate two separate outlets there. So that's what I'll do. So use my little cutting wheel and do that. So that's uh, that'll be again later on today probably. Um, I uh, just wanted to uh, show you that I did get this stuff, and I have been working on it again. So um, I don't know if this is going to be enough uh, wire to go back to this uh, dim bulb or not. Um, there's quite a bit there, so I should be able to, but I'm not going to make any promises now. I want to show you to hear more about this. Uh, all right, now you can see what I'm talking about here. This is uh, going to come off here. That will come off there. This will come off. This will come off. And the a hole will be cut to let that fit in right there and be mounted to the... Uh, it'll go flush with this. It'll be mounted there and then the uh, the light socket itself will go up on the... Uh, on the on the uh, box, and the bulb will stick out. And now, like I say, it will stick out a little bit more. I'm gonna try to orient this so that the, the bulbs are going up and down. I'm not showing you half this. The bulbs are trying to go up and down. I think I can do that. And uh, instead of going this way, I don't think that would work out really good. So we'll see. Have to see what it, how it works out. But that'll be the plan later on. So I'll bring you back when I have more to report.